Hey again, uh, project is a little cash strapped at the moment, so I'm doing the things that I can do with what I have in the garage. Batteries are here, but I don't have the driveline plate so I can install the motor to the transmission, which means I can't get the transmission installed, which means I can't install batteries around it until I know how much room I have. Anyway, this panel right here I just put in. Obviously I grinded and painted behind it. Um, and this is actually aluminum. It's about half the weight of the original panel. The original panel had some pretty serious rust on the bottom. This will obviously won't um, corrode at the rate that steel does. Um, and kept painted, it won't corrode at all. Uh, so anyhow, um, I've also removed the headlight assembly. Uh, I decided that I'm not going to go with that, even though I really like the stock look. I'm going to go with an LED something. So what I'm doing now, I'll show you here, is I'm working on a shroud for the front wheel. So, by the way, wheel's in, nice yellow. A little tough to see behind the brake drum, but it's in. Brakes are in, life is good. Um, so what I've got here is I've got this bracket that I just cut. And I've got a couple of slots. themselves. Um, it's going to look something like this, which is going to accommodate, you know, it's going to be a little more square than that, but it's actually going to be pretty close to the wheel, like you know, I fit my fingers under there, it might be just a hair up from that. No contact there, no contact full turn here, although it is close. After this is welded in, um, or at least tacked in so I can get some bolts, I think I'm actually going to end up bolting it so I can take it off when I need to um, to do work. I mean, I could always take the panels off because these are going to be sheet metal screwed in, I suppose. But that's yet to be seen. But at least I want to get this part of it done to get this tire enclosed. Because once this is done, I can sand all this, which is all all in you know reusable shape, sand it, fill the holes, and get the whole front end of it painted, um, which will really make it start looking like something. So that's uh, that's the next goal. Okay, so here's with a couple hours of work, or not even that much, an hour of work. We'll get you. Um, obviously the wheel's not straight. Um, this is the center line, which is pretty good. What I'm going to do is take aluminum and start up here with it. I'm going to put this piece in first, wrap it over like that, and then put this piece in second, and then put this piece in this piece, or it doesn't matter that from that point, but it's going to overlap. It's not going to sit... It's not going to screw to this face, or, or actually going to rivet it to this face, I've decided. It's going to rivet to this face up here, so you'll see this line. That will help with um, keeping the seams from wanting to collect junk and the like. Um, and it'll come all the way down, and it'll probably hang a little lower than the bottom of this lip. Might even wrap it up under if I can get real crazy with it. Uh, and that'll give me a nice look with a nice supporting thing. If you look at this, I'm going to go ahead and take this off the tripod and bring it down to the level of it so you can see what I'm up to here. What I've done here, if you can see that, is that I've put a little radius on all of these. Every one of these has a little radius on it because when this tire goes up, I've put it up, I've moved it up and down with the jack, it tends to go up, straight up, which would violate the flat line if I had left this um, straight. So. This allows room for that tire to move around. By the way, my clearances, here's the front clearance, which obviously, all kinds. Um, at full turn right, which by the way, this thing has an incredibly tight turning radius. I've got, you know, more than enough room for my hand to fit in there. And on the left side, full turn left, which has a, a slightly shorter turn. A little hard to see from the angle here. There we go. You can see I've got all kinds of room here. Um, so, the, uh, and most of my turning, I mean, high speed turning, you're only going to be doing in this range anyway. Okay, so, nice pretty green color that you're never ever going to see. Um, I'm going to be covering this up with aluminum. I, what I did is I took the grinder just like I did on the wheels, ground off the, the rough parts of the weld. This is going to be, you know, this part is a little rough, but it won't ever be shown through the, the final product. And then I took the wire brush, again, and I cleaned everything up, primed it with the rusty metal primer, just because why not? And then I'm going to cover everything, including this little rust through spot. The underside of this is rusty, and it, it would be very difficult to take care of 
this time. So what I'm going to do, I think, is end up sheathing the whole top of this in aluminum. So that way it will just be what it is and that'll be fine. So now on to putting on the aluminum. Alright, so you can see I got started here with the first piece. What I did down here is I bent this over 90 degrees so I have two thicknesses here down along the bottom edge. It also makes a non-sharp edge. I will have to take a file to the very corners. And all I did was kind of set it up there, cut the angle, trimmed here. Now I have a little gap. You notice I went over here. Obviously nothing's attached except for here, here, and here. I went over so that the next pieces, the front pieces, can go up and I'll actually probably put a, a a piece going like this all the way so this will be melded together. So the process here, I've got a little spot I need to fill here. The process is a, I'm cutting the bottom you know with a uh, either a square line or, or a line that's not square obviously. A line that kind of follows the contour of what I want to do and then I'm taking that line and I'm bending it. You know I'm giving myself about an inch. I'm just bending it freehand. I'm not I don't have a jig, I don't have a, could do this with 2 by 4s it would probably look a little cleaner, but this isn't about aesthetics. Um, and then, I'll show you what I'm up to over here on the floor. I just set it on the floor here. And I finish bending it, trying to keep a nice straight line if I can. I get it to here and I just... Take the lead mallet, that is the mallet filled with lead shot, and just flatten it out nice, like, like that. Then back over here to the piece. I'm going to trim this little excess, as you can see, hopefully, see that. Um, just pull this back a little bit. Come in here and trim that. Don't want to have excess there. Just going to leave a sharp point if I do. I'll have to deal with it later. Okay. And now I am going to try to square this up to the other piece um, as much as I can. But I also have to square it to the front without going over the front and without going under either. So it's going to end up looking sort of like that. And then I have to cut a little triangle out of it. So what I'm going to do is drill and attach this point and this point so it's covered. And then finish the cutting after I've done that. Okay, so there's that piece. I ended up just cutting out the whole excess here because the only piece I really needed to fill in was the side piece. You can see that joint. Everything's nice right now. The only thing I wish I got a little more of, and I'll be a little more careful on the other side, is I wish I had just a little more meat here. But the two front panels, I'm going to do over here first, the two front panels are going to be folded on both seams, and actually all seams, all four sides, so it'll hopefully cover that up. Um, I'll just overlap it. Then the neat thing about this is that if you have a high edge, you can kind of use the mallet against the tension of the, the rivets and the squareness of the frame, and you can kind of get rid of these high edges. And then any leftovers, I'll just take the a little hand file too, and then paint it and it'll be done. Check this out. So, all done. Very proud actually, this is kind of cool. Um, I don't know what it really looks like, but uh, it's cool. <laughs> uh, it didn't come out quite as clean as I wanted. I've got a few spots with some ripples and stuff. Um, I've got a, um, most, almost every seam I bent, I didn't do this one, and I didn't do this one. Um, but they're not really sticking out. I do have a couple little places I gotta take a file to. Um, I gotta deal with this, these little overhangs here. Um, and then I gotta get it sanded and painted. But otherwise, it came out what I would call pretty darn good. Okay, so I got the surface scuffed up with some sandpaper. I gotta clean with denatured alcohol to get the, as much of the grease from my hands off of it as I could. It's caulked with a type of caulking that you can spray paint immediately. Uh, it's actually been about 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and get start spraying. So 
So, finished product here. Um, obviously, I got to fill some holes and work on the lights and all that stuff. But aerodynamics on the front end are much improved, um, and uh, the finish came out pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, so, if you like what you see, please subscribe, comment, rate, all those good things. Feedback is really appreciated. I want to see what you guys have to say and suggestions um, for future ideas on this project and others. So, get back to me. Thanks. Bye.